Now back in school or are about to be, and it's been a while since drivers have had to look out for them walking and biking to class. Especially in school districts where kids don't ride the bus at all. Jeremiah Marshall joining us now in the studio with more. Jeremiah. Yeah, Camp Hill is a walking school district, meaning there are no buses picking up and taking students to school. And parents say drivers can expect some pretty heavy foot traffic. It would alleviate so much congestion and it would just get our kids home safe and sound. Walking, bicycle, or scooter, there are many ways young children are getting to school in Camp Hill. Police say drivers need to stay vigilant in these school zone areas. You know, we do have multiple signs throughout Market Street as far as pedestrian crossing to try and make that as safe as possible, but it is definitely important for drivers in the community to make sure that they're being mindful as well because again these are kids. Emily Rudy says her young daughter attends Hoover Elementary and sees lots of young children walking and drivers need to pay attention. I think it's really important. Um, there's a lot of stop signs in our community and if people aren't paying attention and kind of go through, you know, there's kids around and yeah, I think it's really important. I, I don't want anything to be a harm to my children. It's, it's a uh pretty congested in this area around the high school and the middle school. Parents also say they've seen many drivers making risky turns and not stopping at busy intersections. Yeah, unfortunately, even though this is a school zone, a lot of cars will not stop at the stop signs. They might do a quick uh, you know, a rolling stop or they may not stop at all, which is dangerous when you see a lot of kids that are walking, whether it's school hours or not around the neighborhood. The district has multiple signs and crossing guards around different schools. Camp Hill police say some areas have more foot traffic than others. We have one of the busiest intersections in Cumberland County at 32nd and Market, and there's constantly kids coming and going to school and from school. If you have anything to do, try to avoid the area between 3 p.m., like at, I'd even say 2.45 to 3.15. But most of all, parents say pay attention. You know, we all get distracted because we have a lot of things that we're paying attention to outside of you know, being in the car and driving, but just don't look at your phone, pay attention to the road and look for stop signs and kids. And police also say they have officers monitoring the areas, but drivers and pedestrians must do their part so they can prevent a tragic accident. In studio, Jeremiah Marshall, ABC 27 News.